Last time on our Let's Play of Mask of the Betrayer, we finally met Araman, who claims to be our brother, and in this case he's referring to Akachi, who apparently whose soul we've inherited. Uh, Akachi is this hunger, uh, which is a curse created by Merkel, which was placed on Akachi for betraying Merkel, hence Akachi is called the Betrayer, the Betrayer in the title of the, the module. And uh, so now we're going to have a little chat with Merkel about the curse that he created. To do so, through the portal. One of the loading screen tips uh, mentions that dead gods go to the ethereal plane when they die and just sort of hang out. So um, this is the ethereal plane, I guess. It's a pretty weird looking place. Here is Merkel up here. Um, Sarduris here and his gang of Knights of the Undying Dragon um, are apparently Merkel's guards. I don't know exactly what their their deal is, but uh, let's have a nice little chat with the former god of the dead. I'm going to save first. What is this? Are you a dream? A fantasy? A recollection spawned in my own dead mind? Yes, you are that, but you are more too. I know you, Spirit Eater. You are an irony that walks. Two fates bound together, both severed and incomplete. And you have brought others, castoffs, Discarded souls such as this priestess. She is of the higher planes, tinged with Calamore's blind philosophy, salted with the wretched tears of Ilmater's pity. Are you here because Ilmater has now done as Calamore did? Okay. Um, both Sophia and Kaelin have long conversations that they can have with Merkel. I'm actually going to show all of them. And most of this video is just going to be talking to Merkel. So if the talk is not something you're interested in, you should probably just skip to the next video. But, in this case, we're going to let her talk. Il Mater forsakes no one, Merkel. Even ones who commit such atrocities as building the Wall of the Faithless and making vessels to feed its strength. Il Mater makes it pity on you, little bird. But Calamvor severed you like a gangrenous hand. He smelled the death of faith upon you. With all his pragmatism, he can be crueler than I. But he will not rule the dead better for it, I think. He rules the dead now, Merkel. One could even say he rules dead gods as they drift in this empty place. Perhaps. It is an amusing notion. But your life embodies an irony of Calamvor as well. He does not know what he speaks of. Do I not? You sought to console the dying, soothe their pain and doubt. Then the true pain came when you discovered where you were guiding them. Doom guides and apt name. What matters in healing their pain if the true agony is to come? That is why I waste them on my wall. It is only a structure. It will not survive time and faith. It will not survive me. We'll back up Kaelin in this conversation. You can actually lose a lot of influence with Kaelin here, or gain it, as the case may be. We are both of one mind about this, Merkel. The wall will be destroyed. You would have an easier time dismantling Mount Celestia, stone by stone. Ritual and circumstance are not easily undone, little bird and they are rarely accomplished by peace. Will you lead the living to slaughter and die for those already lost? What a sacrifice for you to demand of those who blindly follow you. Time and justice favor me. You know not what you say, Merkel. I know this. I know your grandfather came to your god, Kelimvor, in secret before you mounted your great crusade. He lies. My grandfather shared no words with Kelimvor. Oh, there you are mistaken. 
He appealed on your behalf. He apologized for your narrow-mindedness. Described you as a rogue grandchild that did not learn the rules. The drumbeat by which the universe marches. Your own blood condemned you. But it was only a small punishment, was it not? You had already discovered how thin the cloak of Kalimor's faith was. He does not keep out the cold. Not at all. His punishment cast you out of his halls, sealed the door of your home to you. Never again will you walk on the slopes of Mount Celestia. Hear the chorus in the house of the Triad. You are an angel left to walk the earth, with only her burning need for justice to keep her warm. A fairy tale with a bright beginning and a fiery end, I think. But isn't this how such falls always begin? We'll step up to Kaelin's defense here. The one I follow speaks in better words than I, but I share their strength. Some fall, it is true, but others? Victory and justice sustain them until they reach the gates of their enemy. Ah, a crusader's heart. Follow the same path, and the destination shall be no different, little dove. I should have devised punishments and prisons for one such as you, little priestess, who drift from god to god, leaving tracks in the ashes of your smoldering faith. Your wall of the faithless will not endure, Merkel. Like you, it will die in time. I have accepted death. You, however, perhaps in God in death's kingdom, you thought such fates were beneath you. Who has fallen now? When you go before Kelimvor, little dove, see what he says to your reasons and your appeals. Ask him to dispense with ritual, with the agonies of the war, and listen to his answer. At that moment you will fall. You will know that the planes turn and justice does not try them. Once you were the lord of decay, of corruption, of wasting away, and now you are at the mercy of all those things. It makes me suspect the universe is just. Like your former god, you favor blunt action and brute force, with little regard for what such actions cause farther down the road. And perhaps what you see is not justice, but only amusement and irony, two things which I value more. Okay, that's his conversation with Kaelin, so uh, let's move on. And what other detritus clings to you, Spiritus? The Red Woman, she has been here before. All that she is now, she owes to me, and to you, Spirit Eater. Your memory is fading faster than your name, old god, and you're wrong on two counts. First, I have never been to the Astral Realm before this moment, so this is not a reacquaintance. And second, I owe you nothing. But you stood before me just a short time ago, Red Woman, burning with rage and love in equal measure. What a shattered thing you have become. A secret of your own nature is the one who leads you. If only your beloved had accepted my judgment of you, your suffering might have ended long ago. Spirit Eater, speak, and tell me what has brought you to this boneyard of gods. Sorry, astral plane, not ethereal plane. Um, there's some comments there that Merkel is making that implies he is Akachi's beloved, which, if you remember the dream sequence uh, from the Coven, but we'll get back to that. Uh, we'll ask Merkel about the curse. Your hunger is a punishment, Spirit Eater. But it was not meant for the hero who wants to buy the Coast of Swords. No, that punishment belongs to the one who now shares your fate. Akashi the Betrayer is just as I left him. He is empty now. A ravening void that seeks always to fill itself up to regain what the wall took from him. So he steals what he lost. A face, a body, a name. These are a mask to be worn for a time, 
until they are also devoured by his unending hunger. The title of the module now makes sense. You are the mask of the betrayer. Not a mask, but just a mask in sort of the metaphorical sense. For now, yes. He has worn many such masks, and he will wear countless more once you are gone. The betrayer's hunger was born in the wall of the faithless. I placed him there and watched as his mind slowly drained away. His thoughts, his memories, these were torn from his grasp, one by one, emptiness filled him, the hunger of the wall. But before the wall could consume him completely, I tore him free, so that his suffering, his emptiness would linger eternal. Okay. Um... And you can kind of complain that your piece kind of punishing the wrong person at this point. I made a piece for Akashi in the wall of the faithless. Your soul has gone to fill it. When the betrayer's hunger finally consumes your body and mind, then your soul will dissolve into the wall and you will be no more. To reclaim your soul, to tear it from the wall, only in that impossibility might you find your salvation. But how to assault the City of Judgment? Unless you were to follow a road already prepared. More or less, uh, Merkel is pointing out that uh, someone is setting you up to force you into the Betrayer's Crusade by making it sort of important for you, because you have to reclaim your soul regardless. A part of you already has, Spirit Eater. Your very existence defies the order of the planes. Will you turn aside from a chance to set things right? Have you not laid eyes upon my vault in the shadows of Marcentia? Akashi defiled my sacred place built a doorway in its depths to connect the living world with the kingdom of the dead. You have seen that doorway in your dreams. Its key is a sword, a silver blade that knows you well. And now the sword awaits you, fully forged in the sanctum of one who loves you. Everything in place, almost as though it was planned this way. From the start. Yep. We're just getting played. Anyway. Uh, who is playing us? Let's accuse Merkel of doing it. The pleasure may be mine, but the plan is not. Your ally and your enemy are one and the same, Spirit Eater. And I am neither. Use the blade to open the gate. Assault the City of Judgment and tear your soul from the wall. Finish what Akashi began. Your captains have waited long for your return. When the gate swings wide, they will come like loyal hounds, tongues lolling from their mouths at the very thought of a new crusade. Um, okay. Well, I guess let's just get started and figure out how to, where to find the Sword of Gith. Well, let's ask about these captains. I think we already kind of know about that from the Shadow Theater, but... The Fallen Angel. His wings dark now. Their luster surrendered for you. The Dragon, bound by a debt that she cannot repay. And the Lich, craving the answers that lie beyond the gates. But to whistle up your dogs, Spirit Eater, you will need the blade. Only two portals provide passage from this drifting cairn of mine. One brought you here, the other will lead you to the Sanctum Weatherblade, and your ally await. Go quickly, Spirit Eater. If you would look upon her face, you will not be her only visitor today. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here. This conversation is basically over.
and uh, we'll start the next video by dealing with the outcome of that conversation.